Run, run, run from humans. They're trying to stab you. They're trying to murder you. To call you bacon and burn you in a frying pan. Don't sexually assault me. Don't kidnap my baby. Don't steal milk from my body. Be vegan. Don't kill me. Save me. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher. She will show you how. Hello, students. Welcome to class. So we decided to drop in here on this news channel to do a little bit of outreach because we noticed that there is a live stream going on and you can see that we're signed in here, that vegan teacher got the little check mark and we're going to be writing some things about veganism. I've already written a couple of comments here and I just thought I would turn the camera on because this is a great way to do some outreach. So this is a channel called Newsmax. They have 2 million subscribers. And right now, 4,000 people are watching and it started streaming on the 20th of January and it's been streaming for a while. So we're just gonna go in here and just try to chit chat a little bit about veganism, make them aware that vegans are here and just uh, kind of normalize the fact that we're here and that we care about the animals. So in my mouse, I have a comment here and I'm just gonna drop that in here, which says, when we see animals suffering, we should never suppress our tears. It's normal to cry and then to become vegan after we learn what the animals go through. Why pay for murder if you don't have to? So I'm gonna send that off and see if anybody responds to that. Then I'm gonna grab another comment, which is that animals are not food, they're sentient beings with feelings. They have a right to live and be loved just like cats and dogs do. All animals have a right to be free and not behind bars or enslaved. So I'm gonna press Command C for that comment, which is on my computer, and I'm gonna put it here. And I'm gonna paste that. Now somebody, I, can, I missed it because I was looking down at my computer, you guys probably all saw it, and says, what is your purpose of being in this chat? Most are real men and women who eat and relate to being real men and real women. You aren't going to convince anyone here. So that's interesting that this person, Shandella, thinks that the people here, that right-wing Americans are not kind, that they don't care about the animals, and I'm not so sure that it's always that way. What's in your body? Why are you eating meat when you can choose compassion with every bite you eat? Do you want your body to be a garden or do you want it to be a morgue? If you're brave enough to learn the truth, go to don'twatch.org. Do you want your body to be a garden or do you want it to be a morgue? If you're brave enough to learn the truth, go to don'twatch.org. Um, someone writes, that vegan teacher is Kyle. And that's funny because this person might know me from TikTok where I did some videos where I used a little image of this little guy, Kyle, in some of my videos with my songs. So let's go and move on to another comment here. So we have, animals are not our slaves. Using animals in any way is wrong. So I've got that in my mouse. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna copy that here. Remember, we're trying to be polite and to educate people. They should not be bred into existence just for us to manipulate. Animals are here for themselves and their own communities, not for us. Let's put that there. Again, we're just being part of a chat here um, to remind people that you can be kind and you can be vegan at any stage of development. And this is one that people don't like to hear, but this is true, is that um, if you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. And you have no place in a civilized society. Now, this is gonna be a tough one because people are not gonna like that. And somebody's writing here uh, about animals. I saw that, that animals eat other animals. So people don't really realize that, of course, we know that. And that animals have uh, no moral agency, we do. So tigers, lions, they can't help it, but we can. All right, so if you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. You have no place in a civilized society. You hurt animals and create a huge eco footprint for the next generation. 
You don't belong among good souls here. Let's post that and see how that goes over. Go to howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. That's a bit of a tough pill for these people to swallow because people will usually get their backs up. Now somebody's writing that chickens are cannibals, which I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, if you put chickens in a tight cage together and they have nothing to do all day except go insane and you don't feed them enough, that it could be a problem, but that could also be a problem if we ever treated humans that way. So somebody says, go play in a lion's pride and see how much loving you get. You see here, there's a comment and that of course means people really don't understand veganism. It's not, it's not about um, us going and playing with the lions. What we're saying is that humans can do their best not to hurt animals. That's what being vegan is about, simply doing our best. Because you're not vegan, you are willfully choosing to be an animal abuser. Think about that for a moment. This is your legacy. This is how you will be remembered. Um, chickens will eat their own eggs, wrote uh, Annette way up there. And um, yes, if they're unfertilized eggs, they will sometimes eat them because they are missing a lot of important nutrients because of the way that they are bred. And so it's very hard for them to grow and to produce enough eggs or as many eggs as, is, as happens because of the way that they are genetically modified. Chickens in the olden days would only produce maybe two or three clutches a year. And now because of the way that they have been manipulated, they lay one egg per day, roughly sometimes a little bit less than that, but it's really taxing on their bodies. So people, somebody here is making a joke about PETA, which is an amazing organization. And they think they're funny people to eating tasty animals. We've heard that a million times, but PETA is actually a good organization in the sense that they are trying and they're at least out there trying to make the world a better place. They have stopped a lot of companies from testing on animals. They've helped to encourage very, a lot of makeup companies from testing on animals. And they are always out there trying to raise awareness. So I think that their hearts are in the right place and they have definitely helped to make many people vegan throughout the world. Um, uh, because you know, it takes 100 clicks to become vegan. So here's something that we can remind people to do, which, which is to don't eat chickens. So I'm gonna put the comment here. And this is, uh, don't eat chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, fish, and lambs. Animals have a right to their body integrity. We have no right to take them from their homes. When will our world change? When you do. So go vegan. So you can see I have here 199 characters because you can only put a maximum of 200. So what I like to do is prepare these in advance in my computer and then just post them there for whoever wants to um, read them. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. So another one here, if you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. Put that here. It's as simple as that, there's no in between. You must be vegan from now on if you wanna call yourself a good person. Paying for murder is evil. Let's post that. And then somebody, somebody else, people often say this, it's the food chain, for example. This is a typical argument that people use. Um, this is a bad uh, this is a bad argument is no different from domestic abuser arguing that it's okay to beat his wife because men have evolved to be stronger than women so we can leave that with them too to think about and what else do we have here all right So I believe that all doctors um, vet and uh, psychologists and vets and nurses lawyers judges parents and grandparents should be as vegan as uh, should be vegan as a moral baseline we must teach the younger generation to be kind and have empathy 
please put that there also to join in the conversation. So anyone who lies and says ridiculous things like plants feel pain need to go back to biology class. We have zero tolerance for bullshit. We are here to learn and not make excuses, be smart and be vegan. You can put that there. So that's essentially it, what you can do. You can go into people's comment sections when there's a live and just talk about veganism a little bit. Get people to think. Sometimes they comment, sometimes they don't, and that's okay. must tell the truth to children. They will inherit the earth. We must teach them how to be kind, not racist, not speciesist. All children should learn about love and proper nutrition. You can put that there too. So that is how you do some vegan animal rights activism in a live chat. Remember that it's always the right time to think about the animals. It's it's never the right time to be quiet when you know that they are suffering. There's always something that you can do to help. All lesbians should strive to be vegan. All grandparents should strive to be vegan. All white people should strive to be vegan. All basketball players should strive to be vegan. Everyone should. In other words, everyone should strive to be vegan no matter what your skin color or where you are in the world. Thank you for being here. What I can do now, I can try to um, tag, so I have to deal, somebody wrote, if, if you have to deal with veganism, then I have to deal with Trump. So, so I'm gonna um, tap that guy's name, Daniel, and see, thank you for being here. Just say thank you for being here, just to remind him that we see his comment. Here we have another comment. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Put this one here. Oh, you can eat Z bugs. I will eat meat and not be weak or sickly. Well, you don't need meat to be healthy. Plants have protein and there are vegans in the Olympics. There are vegans of all ages. There are vegans who are born vegan. Everyone is born vegan because you never want to hurt animals. That's what veganism is about. And uh, there's no excuse for animal abuse, not religion, not your social status, not your age, not your gender, not your taste buds. Everyone must strive not to hurt animals. That's what being vegan means. So we'll go ahead and post that too. So somebody's made a joke up here at the top, vegan preacher more like it. You guys are probably seeing stuff that I'm missing because I've got my head down in my computer there. But uh, if, if vegan right, why do you like vegetarian wrinkle up so much why i'm not sure what that means anyway okay so now we're going to talk about uh, a little comment here about um group as a group atheists let's put this down see what people think about that as a group atheists should be level-headed free thinkers who believe in science Religious people are not necessarily all kind. Many pay others to murder animals for them. Be sane, be kind, and be vegan. Let's see, somebody wrote, let's see if we can teach animals to be kind to animals. Well, that's not what our intention is here. Right now we're trying to teach people not to hurt innocent beings who've never done a single thing wrong to them. So here's an example of a logical fallacy an appeal to pleasure. Let's write this one down. A logical fallacy, one of them is called an appeal to, appeal to pleasure. So example, meat tastes good. This is a poor argument. You can literally use the same logic to justify any crime just because it pleasures the attacker. So let's put that there as a comment. 
Um, somebody wrote here, um, animals are brutal, they eat what they want. Some of them do, that's true. But um, somebody wrote, the vegan is making me hungry. Um, that's okay, you know, we're just happy that they are relating to, re interacting with us a little bit. And we have, here's something about an, an appeal to nature. We're gonna talk about nature in one second. Here, let's see this comment. Oh, that went over, you see that? That's 211. I'm gonna have to remove something here. So let's see, saying that because something happens in nature means that it's good is flawed thinking. There are many things that happen in nature that are cruel. So I'm gonna say imitate, so be sane, be kind, and imitate good behavior. Just imitate good behavior as best as you can. Somebody wrote here that they had a juicy, uh, that lettuce and tomato and a juicy burger, and hopefully this was a vegan burger. I doubt it because of the way they're talking, but that's okay, you know, we're getting them to think about the word vegan. It's all about giving some people the clicks. Animals eat others, so why sh should animals we eat should have some little bit of happiness? I'm not sure what you're trying to say there. Here's another person. You can see they're getting engaged now. Most vegans like Anne Holloway was said as soon as she ate meat again, she felt strong. Yeah, this is every, in everybody's head. You don't absolutely don't need that. I have not had any meat for six and a half years. I've had no eggs and no dairy and I have tons of energy. I'm doing perfectly fine. All my blood work is fine. And um, yeah, I actually have a vegan dog right now in case you guys didn't know that. And by the way, did you know that that Bramble, here's a, here's a comment about a vegan dog. Bramble was one of the world's oldest dogs. She lived to be 25 years old and ate vegan foods. Stop play, paying for murder if you don't have to. For everyone in your family, be kind, be smart, and be vegan. So your dog is a member of your family, and so why would you want to buy dead corpses when you don't have to? Somebody made a joke about so far so good McCarthy. Oh, okay, I don't know what that is. I know that Paul McCartney, uh, his wife is a vegan and I'm not sure if he is, he was vegetarian a few years ago. Of course, that's not good enough. Yeah, you must be vegan. And we're gonna end this uh, stream soon. I wanna thank everybody for being here. I'm just gonna keep putting some more comments. Are you smart enough to be vegan? Are you smart enough to watch the necessary documentaries, Earthlings? Dominion Movement, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, Forks Over Knives, and What the Health. Let's post that here in case anybody is interested. And are you persistent enough to be vegan? Did you ever think of that? You have to have some kind of persistence, right? You guys ever heard of Atomic Habits? A little tiny habit every day, and you just keep working at it. Are you persistent enough to be vegan? Are you able to stay on track by keeping your head and your heart open? Three times a day and only choose vegan options? Yes, you're able, so do it. Let's do that right there, tap that on. Okay, so thank you so much guys for being here. Um, you, now you know how to do some, um, some education on a channel that is going live over on YouTube and um, it's just a great way to enlighten people about veganism. Somebody wrote here about dog meat and so on. And you know, basically we're just getting the conversation going. And you guys can continue to stay on these as long as you want. It's kind of fun. Sometimes people really do have, are interested. Um, but I've got to go and do another video. So I will see you guys all in a little while. Bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's put our empathy into action. Miss Kitty will show us how.